Well, here we are, 2,100 meters in the snow, and it was a bit of a job getting here, but I'm so glad to be far, far away from civilization. Do you know that feeling? <laughs> I just said goodbye to Peter here in our place, here in the Rodopi Mountains. It's already spring, as you can see. But I'm going to Bansko, which is situated between Pirin and Rila National Park. And the weather forecast for this the next 10 days is really bad. It's rain, lots of rain and probably snow because we're going to be at 2,000 meters or so. So we'll see. Go from spring back to winter. <laughs> So what we've done, and you can do exactly the same, is to buy a map in a shop. And on the map, you'll see all different colors, and those are the walking routes. And there might even be huts, like in New Zealand, and there's a couple of huts in Bulgaria too. And you just guess how far you're going to walk each day. But be prepared to change it at any time, because the weather might come in, or you get a little injury, um, or uh, the track is overgrown. All sorts of things might happen, so be flexible. And then for navigation, we, of course, take a compass because you might want to know which direction you're going. You might not see the track, but you know the direction. Then you'll find the track later. <clears throat> and, of course, the Gaia app on the phone. And make sure you download all the maps so you still know where you are uh, when you don't have reception, etc. Um, and those three things, then you're ready to go. You can do this in any country. You can buy a map, think of um, sort of a, a route you want to go, and just go. Seven days food is easy, a little longer is a bit more heavy in your backpack, but um, walking, hiking is not difficult. <laughs> Well, we had a very cold night in the snow and storm and loads and loads of rain and now here we are on top of the mountain seeing absolutely nothing. Set. Not sure what to do now today. Going up or down?
Well, it's snowing right now. It was a hard job getting the fire going. I used some resin from the tree because that, that really is good to uh, get that flame going. And here's my little fire right now. I have to blow in it every second. But yeah, we've got the lentils on, a little bit of salami in there, and another boiled egg. Looking forward to it. We're in Rila National Park and we've been walking in the rain and the snow for days and I'm still warm. I'm warm as toast. And now we're walking here through the forest in the snow and it's absolutely magic. It's amazing. <laughs> There is no trail, only some signs. Blue, white, blue. Like this. And there, in the distance. Well, the sun just came up. It's probably 7 o'clock in the morning. Got a little fire going. And here it goes. Well, a month ago, we were in the heat of Brazil in the tropics, and now I am in Rila in the snow. It's very cold. We've been through a lot of rain and snow, and I'm sure glad with this raincoat. I never really believed in raincoats, but now I do. To say I am happy with this raincoat is an absolute understatement. Fuck, it's a lifesaver. <laughs> I'm sure glad someone went through the effort of putting this pole in because otherwise you wouldn't know where the route is. We're going somewhere there. Well, here we are in the snow. Can't see much, it's sort of a whiteout, but I can see on my Gaia GPS which way to go. Look at this, bad visibility. She's only 20 meters from me. Imagine how quickly can, things can go wrong in this whiteout.
top of the mountains now. It's wind still. The light is super bright, but it's wonderful to be here. I know I'm thinking you've got to climb high in life to be high on life. <laughs> Totally silent here. Around 2,200 meters. Wow. It's an amazing feeling to be here. It's just my friend and I. It's a little bit dangerous. We're very high up. If anything goes wrong, we have a little bit of a disaster. But it feels like when I was cycling for the first time on my own. You know, that feeling of independence, of um, freedom, um, a certain power, a strength, inner strength. That's what it's like. Absolute amazing feeling, indescribable. We just saw a weasel chasing a hare. This is the hare. This is us. And here is the weasel creature. It looked like he was hunting that hare. He was only 20 meters behind. we got here. This is the little bear. You'll see the toes and the nails. It's only a small bear. I've seen bigger prints in the past. Yeah, all right. Might see him on the path. <laughs> 